Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. Uh, how y'all doing? How's today? How's uh, how's today going? Yeah. How 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 are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I still feel bad. Okay, so uh, before I get this thing going, uh, about the Halo Reach walkthrough. Um, me and my friends. I was see. Here's here's the thing. I was gonna go ahead and record and shit. Which we were. We recorded for like a good... We were like really far. We were like halfway through the second final mission of the game. And out of nowhere lag just came out of nowhere. It just started lagging so badly that we... It was like a slideshow. That's how bad the lag got. Um, So we had to stop and I just had to delete the file. Because there was no way I was uploading that. I was hoping that it was going to stop. But it didn't. So... That's on hold now, because tomorrow I'm actually going to Battleground, because guess what? I live in Buffalo, so <laughs> I'm going to go go to Battleground. Uh, so, without further ado, let me start talking about Battleground. Um, so, first up, I mean, like, this is pretty much a prediction kind of thing. I was going to do this at last night of Champions, it would have been... Funny if I did, because the last time I made a WWE video about a pay-per-view was the last night of Champions. Um, so, uh, I didn't do that, because I wanted to do it with my friends, um, and couldn't really do it with my friends, so that that's what happened to that. Um, so, firstly, let me talk about the pre-show. <clears throat> I'll give my thoughts and predictions. Uh... Hopefully, eventually down the line, down, down the line, <laughs> down the line, I do get to do this with my friends, though, because I like having discussions with my friends and not just me talking about the pay per view. But anyways, all right, so we got the kickoff: um, Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Sandow. Uh, I'm gonna spend a good minute on this, to be honest, guys. I I hate this. <laughs> I hate this pre-show. I hate it. Um, Dolph Ziggler, what was he, was he, he was the World Heavyweight Champion, finally, everybody was happy, he was slowly turning face with the championship, he gets a concussion, um, and then, like, you know, he stays champion for, like, another couple weeks and then loses to Del Rio. Now, uh, I already have a gripe with Del Rio being champion because I'm just tired of seeing him as World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, I think Del Rio is kind of getting stale and he's not my cup of tea for a wrestler in the first place. Um, I just, I don't find him enjoying uh, anymore. I used to. His matches with uh, Sheamus and a couple other people throughout the years, you know, a while back were cool and all, but... uh. They're they're just not. I don't like him anymore. They're, he's so boring now. Um, to be completely honest, I was actually enjoying the face thing for a minute because, I mean, he wasn't ever a face if I remember correctly, right? So when he finally became a face, everybody kind of got shocked, and then he became a heel for like a day, and then became a face again. Anyways, so I'm a, I'm upset because Dolph Ziggler lost to him at uh, SummerSlam, was it? I think it was SummerSlam. Um, and I was like, okay, so next pay per view, uh, it'll be Del Rio at Night of Champions. It'll be Del Rio versus Dolph Ziggler, and Dolph Ziggler will win probably because you know he only had it for like a uh, a month or two or something like that. And I was just like, there's no way they're going to let him Del Rio run off with it again. He'll just have it again probably for a little bit and Dolph Ziggler will win. Um, I'm going ape shit right now. Pretty pissed off. Because Dolph Ziggler is in this pre-show. It didn't happen at the last pay-per-view. They had a mixed tag team match. I don't know. Did Dolph, did Dolph Ziggler win that anyways? Did he? I don't know. I think he did. But um, it was just it was so stupid. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? He doesn't get a rematch? He was the world heavyweight champion, and he doesn't get his championship rematch. You serious? It's just... And then I looked it up on the internet, um, and 
apparently WWE thinks that Dolph Ziggler doesn't tr- attract a big enough crowd and he doesn't give enough of a pop or a fan reaction or whatever from anyone. So they just took the title away from him and he's just going to stay in mid card. You serious? Really? That's so dumb because in my opinion, Dolph Ziggler is awesome. Uh, He's had a lot of good matches. I actually like him being a face, though. I don't his him being a heel is he has his heel moments, but kind of bland. I like I like him as a face. A lot of people like to think of him as uh the next Shawn Michaels, kind of. Um, in terms of his body, <laughs> I'm gonna say that he kind of is. But moving on, <laughs> uh, Playgirl. <laughs> Those of you who know Shawn Michaels know that he was in a Playgirl magazine. But anyways, uh, moving on. It's just. To give my final answer, I think Dolph Ziggler is going to win this. It's kind of obvious he's going to win this. This is kind of almost like a squash a squash match. If Damian Sando wins, then it'll be very surprising to me. I think this will lead down the road that Dolph will get to challenge him for his briefcase, maybe. If WWE is giving Dolph a second shot, which they probably won't, because they already pretty much said they don't like him. But yeah, like I said, I was going to stay on that for a while. That, that, that I don't enjoy that. Um, I'm going to start this off from the bottom because I don't want to do the main matches first. So, uh, Kofi Kingston, I'm look, I'm on Wikipedia, by the way, <laughs> Kofi Kingston, uh, versus Bray Wyatt. I, it's kind of confusing. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this match. Um, let me drink my water really quick. Mm. Nah, I needed a minute. <laughs> It's just this was randomly thrown in. It was literally just it was just randomly tossed in at the last second because the match usually there's like seven or eight matches during a pay per view. Sometimes there's six. That's rare though. But that matches are usually really long though. Then, but uh, there's usually seven or eight. And by Raw, it was uh, it was five. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, where the hell are the other two matches or three? And then um. Because, you know, R-Truth beat Curtis Axel because of CM Punk interrupting him on last Raw. So I'm like, okay, they'll have a match. And then they didn't announce it on Raw. Then they finally announced it on SmackDown, apparently. I didn't watch SmackDown. Uh, I don't usually watch SmackDown. I just watch some of the, you know, matches on on YouTube but um to see who won. But, uh you know, so they finally announced that. um And then it's... Co- so, like, I don't know. Whatever. So back to Kofi Kingston versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, Bray Wyatt is gonna win. There's, I'd be really surprised if Kofi wings, uh, if Kofi wings, wins. <laughs> Just because, I don't know. It's Kofi wins a lot of matches, but he also loses a couple. So I don't know. Uh, it's just the the Wyatt family are really strong right now, and if. They suddenly lose a match to Kofi. It'd be like, what? I don't really have too much to say about that match. I just... Kofi's probably going to lose. That's that's my prediction. <laughs> um, I think later down the line, because Kane's been gone for a while, I think Kane will come back, and then what will happen is he'll be all, you know, infuriated, and he realizes he needs backup or whatever, uh, and he'll pretty much be attacked by the Wyatt family, and I think Undertaker will eventually come back. Uh, because, you know, that's, I think that's what's going to happen. Um, I think what's going to happen, in my personal opinion, I think that it'll be a tag team match at WrestleMania. That would be kind of interesting. If it doesn't happen at WrestleMania, uh, like a two on three versus the Wyatt family at WrestleMania, then it will happen at probably Survivor Series, maybe, because, you know, Undertaker, uh, in Survivor Series is usually a good match, because he debuted in Survivor I said debuted it again, didn't I? Anyways, he started. Let's go with that because I'm going to botch uh, the word debut with a ED at the end of it, but, but moving on. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's where he started in the WWE. He started at Survivor Series, pretty much, uh, but moving on. Uh, so then we have Curtis Axel versus R-Truth, like I was just mentioning. Uh, I really feel like Curtis Axel is going to win this, but since they've been kind of leaving him out of a lot of stuff, 
I'm actually, I think our troops going to win because Curtis Axel's been, you know, he's been representing Paul Heyman and shit, but, uh, you know, Paul Heyman hasn't really been doing too much for Curtis Axel recently. It's kind of been a bromance between <laughs> him and Ryback, but anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, so yeah, like, I, but uh, well, not moving on. Uh, I think our troops going to win. That's, that's my thing I have to say before I actually officially move on. Uh, I don't know. It, could be, I really, it really could be either or. I'm kind of conflicting with myself right now. Uh, that's an either or, really, to be honest. But I think our truth will win. If Curtis Axel wins, I won't be surprised. You know, it's just whatever. Um, now, this is the interesting one. Uh, this is one of the, I guess I'd have to say, maybe top three, maybe four that I'm interested in. Uh, is Go Dust and Cody Rhodes... Uh, and with their father, Dusty Rhodes, versus The Shield. Uh, I think that they're going to win, because why would they suddenly drop off Cody Rhodes, go Dust and Dusty Rhodes, because of a match like this? Uh, I think that somebody may possibly interrupt the match uh, and help uh, them win. Uh, Cody Rhodes needed some time off because of his marriage, so that's my, only exp that's my explanation of why... Uh, they put him out for a while was so that he could get married and get settled and everything for a couple of weeks. Um, and then he's just going to start wrestling again. If they lose this match, I tell you right now, something is going to happen down a couple more months. Cody will probably return next year. That is, that is what I, I, so it's kind of hard not to say that he'll come back. You know, it's Cody fucking Rhodes. I'm just saying. They can't just kill off a third generation stu uh, I was about to say stupor, sorry. <laughs> Superstar like that. It just doesn't make that much sense. Um, to me anyways. I, I don't see it coming. I, uh, I think they're gonna win. And if he does lose, like I said, Cody is not foreverly gone. Cody will come back because... He's younger talent, and they need WWE needs more younger talent right now. They seriously do. But anyways, this is this is why I this is for us. This is a t entirely separate video. But NXT people need to be kind of be pushed into WWE now. I'm sorry, you've had this season, whatever season it's on right now, going on for a while. People like Paige and stuff need to be in the WWE right now. Um, you guys need more divas. <laughs> um. In terms of the official roster, not the NXT one, because if you combine them, they do have a lot of divas, but... Um, alright, so I think, you know, the Rhodes family will win. If they don't, Cody will come back next year, uh, somehow, some way, possibly around Royal Rumble time, maybe. Um, another rumor is that uh, Daniel Bryan will win the Royal Rumble, though, so that he can finally get the championship at Mania, but that's just a rumor. I think, well... That's, I'm going to explain that later in the video anyway, so let me not give my opinion on that yet. Uh, <laughs> the next match is AJ Lee versus Brie Bella. Eh. Meh. Uh, I think AJ will lose, simply because, if you think about it, if Daniel became champion anytime soon or later or whatever, uh, if Daniel become, became champion... Then she'd be Divas Champion, and they could do this... Because, you know, they're engaged and everything. And probably going to be getting married soon. Wait, did they get married? I can't remember. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, so Daniel Bryan and Brie would be both, like, the main... Because she'd be the main... Because, you know, there's only one Divas Championship. There's no, there's not a women's and a Divas anymore. Um, I was talking to my, my friend the other day, and I was actually saying it'd be kind of cool if... Uh, there was a Divas Tag Team Championship, but that probably won't happen, unfortunately, even though that would kind of make the Divas division a bit more interesting, I guess, and it would force them to kind of put more women on the show, but whatever. Uh, I think that if Brie wins, I, I kind of want to, I'm subscribed to a couple of wrestling people, by the way, and one of them is, and I don't like to say other YouTube channels in my videos, but uh, Tubby Emu, uh, it's just cause I don't like kinda, I don't feel like I, I feel like I'm sponsoring them kind of when I put them in, people are going to ignore me to go watch them because they're more popular. I just feel like I'm kind of sponsoring them. 
but I'm going to say him anyway because he's an awesome guy. Uh, Tubby Emu is, uh, he, he was talking to one of his guy, one of his friends or whatever, uh, and he was saying that if Brie Bella wins, it would give a shot or a good time for uh, Paige to come in and win the Divas Championship, which is kind of funny because Paige calls herself the anti-Diva, but she's even said in an interview that she wants to win the Divas Championship, which I mean, of course, as a Diva in the WWE, you're going to want to win it, but she's the anti-Diva, quote-unquote, so it's like, what? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but anyways... It's just it doesn't go well with her motto um or her gimmick or whatever but um she'll be uh cuz she's isn't she the NXT Divas Championship right now Divas Champion so um she has that and I think she's going to drop it if they do this and then she's going to be gone for like a month or two and then she suddenly just debuts on WWE and fights Brie Bella and wins it then or something and then I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that when Caitlyn comes back, she she turns heel, cause uh, that would be kind of cool. Cause she'd be pissed off that she lost all those times. She comes back, has a fight with AJ while she doesn't have the championship, and then wins that, and then tries to go after Brie, I guess, or something. But anyways, moving on. Uh, so yeah, I think Brie's gonna win that. AJ might win. I don't know. She's been looking kind of strong. Sometimes when a person looks too strong, uh, kind of is, is a leading indication that they might lose. Uh, if it's a tie, that's like most of the, uh, I don't want to discriminate or anything, but most of the male, uh, wrestlers, they kind of make it, if it's like for the WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight, they kind of make them go back and forth to, and, you know, to kind of confuse you like, uh, with, but this isn't a championship match, but like with CM Punk and Ryback, they've been kind of going back at each other. So it's kind of confusing to say who exactly will win but yeah i think aj's been going on really strong so i, I think she might lose i know i don't know but uh i know yeah I, yeah i'm just gonna say that I, i'm gonna say i don't really know i'm leaning towards brie though uh for cm punk versus ryback um i think that uh ryback and cm punk have been kind of duking it out really good this is one of my yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm excited for four matches on this card. Uh, the Rhodes family, Ryback and CM Punk, and the other two that I haven't said yet. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think, I don't know. They've been kind of screwing over uh, CM Punk a lot, and plus Ryback's on the cover. Sometimes the person that's on the cover of the pay-per-view poster is the winner. I don't know. Sometimes it usually is. Uh... Plus, Ryback has lost how many pay-per-views now? Uh, he has won maybe three, and that's including the jobber ones. Uh, they need to kind of give Ryback some... I'm sorry, if you don't like Ryback, that's your opinion. I actually enjoy Ryback. I think him as a heel is awesome. Uh, he just needs to win more pay-per-views, man. He's lost way too many. Um, and this would kind of be kind of a redemption kind of for Ryback because, you know, all the times that he lost to CM Punk before because of the shield or, you know, someone else interrupting or whatever. Uh, I think Ryback is probably is probably going to win this. Um, it's funny because earlier I was playing as CM Punk uh, <laughs> in this video, but because um, I know what pre-recorded gameplay I'm going to be using because I literally just did the pre-recorded gameplay. Game, game, pre <laughs> game play. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, I think Ryback's gonna. I think the match is gonna be a fantastic match, though. Um, I don't think that. I don't think just because people try to say that Ryback's a slow guy or whatever, you know. No, I I think the match is gonna be solid. Uh, Ryback had a really good match with uh John Cena at Extreme Rules. The payback one was it was iffy. The payback one was just eh. The Extreme Rules. If you haven't seen John Cena versus Ryback at Extreme Rules, you need to. It's a it's an awesome match. Um, next up is Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam. Uh, I I haven't been announcing the champions. I have I. That kind of sucks. I I kind of have been, but I all right. El Alberto Del Rio is the champion. Okay, in this one. Uh, I kind of have been announcing the champions, but you know it's kind of been. Yeah. All right. So for Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam uh, with Ricardo Rodriguez, um, I think Rob's going to win this one because Del Rio won the last one. It's kind of a safe bet 
to always kind of, if they're going at it again, it's kind of a safe bet to kind of say that the person that lost last time is usually going to win the next one. Sometimes the person does keep losing, but no, nah, it's Rob Van Dam. Come on. Uh, I think Rob Van Dam, they're going to give him a couple more championships while he's back, maybe one or two. Uh, for his run while he's still in the WWE again, I think that uh, Rob Van Dam is gonna win. It's a it's a hard it's a hardcore match actually. So yeah, it favors Rob Dam. Rob, blah, blah, blah. When I was a kid, I used to say Rob Dam Van like a retard if I said his name really fast. But <laughs> so I was about to do it again. But and I'm 18 now. But anyways, uh, Rob Van Dam, I think he's gonna win it. It's it's pretty much it's his type of match. I don't see how he'd lose. Uh, cause I think, I think RVD deserves another championship. Come on. He's, he's had a good run while he's back. Uh, and I think, you know, that he's, I don't know. He's, he's just going to win. I'm sorry that I'm not being very descriptive with it. It's just, you know, he lost the last one. Him and Del Rio threw on a good, pretty decent match. Um, last pay-per-view. Uh, but again, this kind of favors RVD. It's a hardcore match. I think RVD is going to win. Uh, again, I don't really like Del Rio anyways. So kind of been pointing that out. <laughs> Why do I feel like earlier in this video I I announced that I said I I don't like Del Rio, right? I felt like I felt like he's really stale. That's what I, I did say that in the beginning of this video, right? Alright, but anyways. Final match. Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton for the vacant WWE championship. Um I think that no matter how strong Randy is appearing right now, uh, I think Daniel's just going to win it. Daniel's just going to keep winning the championship over and over and over again. Uh, it's kind of funny because those count as him having the championship. So Daniel Bryan's a two-time WWE champion so far. This means he's going to be three. Um, <laughs> so I just think Daniel's going to win. He's He's been showing off really strong. I don't care if maximum heel, whatever, Randy Orton is back. Uh, like he's been trying to say that he has, by the way, legend killer. Randy Orton is the best heel is, is true. He was the best heel when he was the legend killer. Uh, Randy Orton had some good runs after the whole legend killer thing as a heel, but his legend killer is clearly the best. Um, yeah, I just uh I don't I don't think uh Randy's going to win this to be honest. Uh if he does, he'll have it for a while. Daniel will be You know what? If he does, this is my prediction. If Randy does win, he'll injure Brian. Brian will be out for however long and then if the rumor of him, of Brian winning the Royal Rumble or being in the Royal Rumble is true, he'll come back for the Rum World blah, 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 blah. Royal Rumble and win it. And then that match versus Randy Orton will happen at Mania. But I do really strongly feel like Daniel Bryan is going to win this. Um, and I think that, you know, if Randy Orton does win, uh, Bryan will just be out for some time. But yeah, I think Bryan's going to win. He's been really strong with this. Uh, he hasn't been losing any matches, actually, I don't think, since he was like, you know, who everybody cared about. Daniel Bryan makes everybody in the crowd go, yes, yes, yes. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, everybody's rooting for him to win. Uh, if he doesn't win, it'd, it'd be kind of an upset, sort of. But like I just said, I kind of explained what would happen most likely if he, if he does lose. But, uh, yeah, that's my predictions for Battleground. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I was kind of fast with this. Maybe next time I'll do what other people do. And I'll make a video for each match. That way I can explain a little bit better uh, about how I feel about each match. I was trying to cram this into a, a bit of time here, and I apologize for that. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, and um, you know how it goes. Stay sexy. Peace, guys.